so you want to get some traps set up so you can go trapping but you want to do it on a budget specifically talking about dying and waxing traps well today i'm going to show you the cheapest way to die and wax your traps so stick around i'm gonna play the intro real quick while i'm getting everything set up and we'll see you here in just a second going on guys on my last video i showed you how i cleaned these traps how i got them all everything off of them from last year but i showed you how i cleaned these up and now i'm going to step two on how i dye and wax my traps so we're going to get the same pots we used when we were uh getting them all cleaned up use the same two pots and uh, i'll show you what we do next when i say i literally just got through pressure washing these i literally just got through pressure washing these suckers um, so we're gonna get our two pots right here. We're gonna need those. And you're gonna need two bags of logwood trap dye because each bag does one to two dozen large traps or two to three dozen small traps. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this. You can put this trap uh, dye into a pot or a bucket or old trash can or anything with some water and mix it up and then throw your traps in it and just let them sit there for a while in cold water. Um, but it just takes a lot longer for the traps to take in and absorb the logwood dye. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my traps and logwood dye into a pot and boil it. And then it only takes like 20 to 30 minutes. And then they soaked it all up. Then you just set them out on the table or hang them up on something and let them dry. The reason I'm doing it like this because I'm kind of pressed for time. So uh, we get some water in these pots, get the sucker fired up and drop some traps in there. All right, so now I take my traps and I tie them all right there next to the swivels and stuff. And I go ahead and pre-measure my water, make sure we got enough in there. I'll have to add a little bit more after I put the log dye in there, but I just want to make sure I can fit at least that many in there. Just so that way you know before you put your dye in here, make sure you're not going to overflow because then you got to pour some out anyway. So let's get this trap dye in the pot, and then we're going to get them dying. Because I don't have enough hands, get your trap dye out. Cut your bag, bring it over to your pot, pour it in. Whole thing. Pick yourself a stick or anything that you just don't care about. I'm using my rod that I use running my traps and just stir it up. Make some chocolate milk. Now that we've got it all mixed up, it's like chocolate milk in there. It's really dark like coffee. Over here, grab our traps. And I always touch a string to mine to make it easy put in there whole trap all of it every bit of it don't worry about it. if there's any pieces of grass or maybe that little piece right there didn't quite dissolve it it will be okay so now let's do another bucket now when you're putting in your logwood dye the trap dye into the pot make sure you fill the water up three quarters of the way in your pot then put the trap dye in there and mix it up because if you do it opposite it's going to be bubbly it's going to bubble up like this but on steroids from the bottom up that's just from filling it up the rest of the way to get the pot deep enough for all the traps now when it comes to boiling this it doesn't actually need to boil it just needs to be warm so if the pot water is moving a little bit that's fine it doesn't actually have to sit there and like boil like you're boiling some noodles or something it just needs to be warm water and it takes and absorbs to the trap a whole lot faster than cold water so let's we'll sit here and do these got a lot to do so it should only take about 20 minutes for these to get nice and rich black i mean when i say black these traps are going to look black even though that powder's brown the trap's gonna be black okay um, but it's only gonna take about 20 minutes, maybe 30, but I think it's gonna be more than 20 minutes. I uh, typically is what it is. Um, so yeah, it's gonna sit here and do this all night long. Well, until I run out of traps and then tomorrow we'll get on to the next step. But I'm hoping that these will get done before the sun, before it gets too dark. So I can show you what they actually look like. If not, you'll see them in the morning. we got a good coating on all these traps. See, I told you it's gonna be straight up black after you got through dyeing them. So, uh, yeah, we're going to show you my setup for my waxing. And like I said, don't laugh at me when you see how I wax my traps. It is the cheapest way, cheapest way you can do it. Trust me. 
voila it is a pot full of freaking wax and inside this pot to keep from burning your wax i've got another pot underneath it that i will fill up with water so the water will get hot enough to melt the wax in this pot stick your trap down in that pot right there and let your trap get warm enough to where all when you pull the trap out of that wax it, the wax will drip off that trap like water you don't want a really thick coating of wax on your traps because um, when you go to set it if it's like a glob of wax on there when you go to set it, it's all gonna fall off so uh but yeah that's the cheapest way because this little pot it don't take but uh my, my i want to say five to seven blocks of wax and those blocks of wax are really really expensive i know last year they were seven dollars about a, a pound and so you start adding up real quick seven seven but if it was seven blocks for this it's 50 bucks for that little bitty pot of wax if you do a bigger pot it's obviously going to cost you more so basically all we're going to do is get our water hose here and we're going to fill up just underneath that pot and the pot below it and get the water full not crazy full just get it full enough all right so now we got our bigger pot here with water not fully to the rim but pretty close and we got the heat on the gas on burner and it's just going to melt that hot water is going to get hot and it will melt that wax right there and something to think about when you're waxing your traps always keep an extra block or two with you so get whatever you need to fill up your pot and then keeping a couple extra pieces like i've got half a block here from last year and i think i got another block up there um but as you're waxing your traps you're slowly taking some wax out of those traps or taking some wax out of the pot and um you have to replenish that replenish that wax so that you know you have enough wax to cover the trap while as you continue to wax the traps when you have as many traps as i do it takes a little bit of a dang, decent amount of wax i'll probably end up putting another whole block in there before we're done with the wax so now it's just a waiting game sitting here wait for the wax to draw uh, to get melted up and uh then we'll start waxing well, i've learned doing it this way with the water below your wax that you're not going to burn your wax one year i burnt the wax by just using a pot of wax on a burner and the wax caught on fire well then the entire pot of wax had a burn smell to it and uh the coyotes and foxes and everything picked up on that smell and they would not commit to the trap so i didn't have a good catch ratio so this is a way to prevent burning of your wax and remember when you're picking out your pot to put your wax in whether you use a small pot like i'm using with a water pot underneath it the pot that has your wax in it needs to be brand new and clean it cannot have any odor on it whatsoever because this process is going to make our wax scent free you can't have no smell in your pot you can't go whip up a good old pot of stew and then put wax in it and expect to catch something it don't work like that now while we're waiting for the wax to melt if you have a easier process or an easier method of waxing your traps please comment down below and let me know how to do it um i'm all for saving time and this is a timely process i know it takes time but if i can speed it up anyway at all by your, using your method please let me know in the comments um, if you'd like to describe it with a picture or a photo or something or a small short video be sure to uh, hit me up on instagram message me on instagram um, if you missed that just go check out the intro clip and you'll see my instagram handle is carolina coyote or carolina underscore coyote 19 that is my instagram handle um, and message me on there send me a picture or, or a message or a video whatever how you do it and if it's easier than how I do it, by all means, I will adopt your method and use it from now on because this is a timely, I'm used, literally going to wax one trap at a time and I've got 60 something traps to do. So slowly but surely getting some of that wax melted. We still got a long ways to go. And the first trap of 2022 is not gonna be getting waxed yet because it needs a little, one more pound of wax in there. See how See how the trap is uh, getting white right there? So, and I need some more wax in this pot. So I'm gonna take this out. You don't want your traps to look like this when you wax them. This is not what you want them to look like. This thing is going to turn solid freaking white. That is not a good trap wax. Just to show you what is wrong. That is not how you want it to look. All right, now that our wax is finally 100% melted down, we're gonna take our trap and we're gonna throw her into it pot <clears throat> and even though that little piece right there is sticking up it will be just fine if i can get this piece of chain in there um 
it'll be just fine with that little metal piece right there sticking up because this trap is going to get hot enough that when I pull the trap out of the to go pull out the wax it'll level itself out and get coated with the wax so see how the wax is getting white there in the or on the, on the trap you're going to wait until that wax is no longer visible on the trap so just wait till it all basically melts off and you can sit here and watch it melt off and once it gets through melting off then your trap is good and when you pull it out it'll look just like water dripping off this trap and i'll show you what that looks like see how it's melting off already maybe you can see that So now that the wax is no longer white on the trap, it is hot enough to pull it out. And when you pull it out, it will look just like water dripping off of a trap. And when your traps are done, you take them over here and hang them up and let them cool off. And when they cool off, they'll harden up like that right there. And this is what a properly waxed trap looks like. Doesn't look like there's anything on it, just a thin, thin coating of wax on each trap. And that one there is still drying. And then you want to store them somewhere where they're not going to get any scent on them. So I got all my traps in this little bin. That's where I keep all my traps out. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you do something different, like I said, drop me a comment down below. If you like this video, click that like button for me. It goes a long way. If you're new here and you want to learn some more, click that subscribe button and you'll never miss a single video that I put out. But until next time, y'all take it easy and we will see you on the next one.